everybody. We're hanging out here in Junction City, Oregon. Beautiful day here. Can't complain about this weather all. I've got Terry Smith from Kenai Coach Sales. This one just came in and the guy, because of his age, is having to give up RVing. And so he's letting us have it and find a new home for it. So, all right, Brian, I'll turn it on over to you. And uh, nice to see everyone again. Thank, Thank you me. very much, Terry. All right, so we got this beautiful 40 foot for travel. It's gonna be a U320. It's got this cool entry step right here. That's why I got it running. I just wanted to show the entry step here. We'll go in, give you a quick little tour of the entry step well, and get this coach turned off now. So, all right, we've got that big 450 horse Cummins back there, of course, with the Allison transmission. Now, Ford Travel does have a transmission retarder on these to help the D cell. So this coach here is beautiful. It's got a new headlight update in here and the paintwork is so good. You can't even tell that some guy actually cut these new headlight assembly areas in, but it's got the update there. It's got a lot of services done on it by OMC here in uh, Eugene, Oregon, out by the airport. A uh, long list of stuff that's been taken care of to make sure this coach is high and tight and ready for the guy. Um, it's even got newer Dometic air conditioners up with there with those new style tops so you can always tell that those are pretty much going to be the new air conditioners and then it's even got a new tv antenna and a new flat screen but let's get these bay doors open and show you these bays all right so let's give you all a tour of these bays very first bay here you're going to have your fuel fill got that cord holder there sorry about that we've got a little jet going by and then you've even got your fuel uh, uh, your propane tank here got some storage up above your propane tank nice drawer here nice slides got that travel lock right here slide that pin in and then you're gonna have a full pass-through bay here and then a full pass-through bay here with two slide trays be able to get you nice access to those the nice thing I did notice about this particular coach is all the access to the components you know a Ford travel they always there's your aqua hot access there in the very middle. You know, for travel, they always made things pretty accessible. The ceilings pop down real easy to run wires from the front to the rear. Got your HWH brain there, that auxiliary air. We'll kind of go over some of those components when we make our way over to the other side. Like I said, that pass-through. This coach will have a water manifold on it, so if you do have a leaky toilet or something, you could turn that off and still use the rest of the water. Nice 110 outlet here. Got your low point drains down here on the very bottom. Water pump back there in the very back. You've got a thermostat for the bay, freeze protect. Nice coach. We've got, a, of course, those 22.5. Nice aluminum wheels. Got those top hats on there. Looks like we got some brand new engine start batteries. Three of those in here. Got a pretty new, uh, looks like a new fuel filter. Put on there back in June of 21 by OMC. This coach looks like it's probably gonna have about 132,000 miles. Asking price is gonna be $89,000. Uh, it's gonna have a little bit of peeling here because this is gonna be the last year, I think, for these guys with stickers, but they don't look bad at all. I mean, this thing looks really good. If you wanted to make it a show coach, of course, you'd wanna do a little stuff to it, but I'd, <laughs> this thing's looking good. I like it. Let's get you a tour of this engine access. Nice, huge flip-up door here coming out of the way mounted on some gas struts nice engine accessibility here you've got all your fluids here on the sides your chex looks like it's got a brand new ac compressor your uh, fluids there for your radiator easy access to your air filter right here on this rear location we'll go ahead and get this back bay door closed for you all right so we get the back end of this bad boy all closed up it's that u320 for travel I recognize this light. That is gonna be the third eye brake light of a Ford Econoline van from 1992. Pretty use of it. They've got a little bulge here they've done in the fiberglass to give a little radius to that. Pretty creative design using those Ford tail lights again. So as we make our way down the driver's side, you're gonna see this bay here. There's actually nothing behind here. It does open once you take a fastener out to be able to get to the uh, shock and the right height valve and stuff like that, but there's no reason for that to particularly open. 
Gonna have your plumbing bay. Let's get these driver's side doors open for you. All right, so we got all the bay doors open. Give you a tour of this plumbing bay. Really easy here. You got your fresh water hooked up. You got your short cord reel. This is pretty cool. It's actually on a ratcheting pull out. So you just pull out on it and then it releases. And then let that thing suck right back in. Nice hot and cold water out here. 110 outlet. Your uh, releases here. Your sewer flush for your tank. Those are going to be the releases for your black and your gray tank flush is where you're going to hook that up. Now over here in this next one forward, we'll have that full pass through with these slide trays. Another nice uh, kind of industrial option. Someone has added in here with some nice trays across the very top. Drawer slash trays. And then another one here. So kind of like that. It's nice. Be able to get some more storage. And then we're about up here to bay number two. We've got that aqua hot reservoir like I was referring to. Got that uh, Freedom 25 inverter in there, nice and basic. And then some more uh, fuses, what have you, behind this. Some circuit breakers. I did leave this bay closed because I wanted to show you how these cool doors work. Now, if you notice, these are panographic doors, fold up nice and close out of the way. And to do those, you just grab this handle, lift it up, and then it actually latches. To the side of the coach so that way you get any wind or anything like that you don't have to worry about that bay door coming down you just release this handle and then lower the door push it in boom latched just like that give it a little more of a push get that rubber seal to close for you but you got the example i didn't want to smash on that door so beautiful coach as you can see on this side here a tiny bit of the decal coming back on the edges but you know you could always have this coach wrapped or pull this off i'm sure that white wouldn't be too bad under there you might be able to buff it have it compounded back got that 10k generator in the very front let's get you all a display of that all right you give this handle right here a good little tug that releases the locks then the cover comes up and then you got full access to this generator looks like it had a oil change about a year ago it'll get those services again as part of the PDI so beautiful coach let's get a tour of the inside of this thing let y'all see what it looks like We made it inside it's got those really nice matte floors i think those have been updated in this particular coach this couch looks a lot newer these seats have may have been reupholstered or the couch and the seats might have matched but it's really nice seat here you've got the same material over here as the inlays here you've got this little table that flips up here in the very front it's really nice wrapped with that same vinyl a couple cup holders here dash is in really good condition I really like the uh, serviceability of the floor travel. You can actually just flip this dash forward, be able to get to the back all your gauges and everything. Really nice ground bar right there that the factory's installed. Really easy access to be able to do new dash radios, things like that. It's got a few of the specs here. So this is gonna be unit number 5393. Even got some ride height specs here for the front and the caster and the toe. So really nice information hidden under that dash cowl. Now you just push down on this it latches down with those brass locks and then you're back to the stock it's got the very first generation of smart wheel here looks like that auto gen is fired up because i've turned on a bunch of the lights batteries are starting to get a little low had that inverter running earlier to test the fridge and whatnot so gen's running no problem though it's not too quiet let me close this door that way it quiets down a little bit for us now i do have that front cover open and that'll be no problem with that gen running so as we said new uh couch here it looks like this will pull out got this nice chair over here on the left nice beautiful window boxes got this uh, cathedral style radius ceiling here 
and then you've got all your air conditioning vents here in the middle covering that cool little dinette this is a really cool floor plan you know and when you're standing in here you would think that there's a slide out or something like that me personally i'm gonna feel that way but it doesn't not really nice roomy feeling here got that computer desk right here nice uh stained glass style but they're a mirrored panel but they're actually got that stained glass inserts in there so they're multiple pieces it's got this nice wallpaper on the back walnut wood looking like it's in really good condition a little piece missing off the counter but that's nothing you know put a little radius on that call that good this is a very unique floor plan i will give it to four travel they're pretty unique in them when they come to their floor plans but this one doesn't bother me any i really kind of like it it grows on me a little more as i'm in here it's got a cabinet here got uh, some drawers probably down here oh a little cabinets down here some more access to more of the hot water valves and some miscellaneous items nice doors there it's gonna have the frigidaire 110 volt actually not a frigidaire it's gonna have that whirlpool residential refrigerator in it you don't have about the propane or any of that stuff nice large freezer in the very top here it's cooling nice and then you've got this refrigerator in the bottom nice lighting in here nice and cool now of course this hasn't been completely wiped down or detailed that will of course happen before you pick up the coach i'm in a gas washer dryer on the bottom let's see what we've got shelves on the top nice pull outs lots of those nice and deep so good storage there do i get it oh i got it so you got that splendy washer dryer combo in the very bottom could be removed if you wanted some more space down here or could be left in there if you want to use it be able to get some washing and drying done in here we'll get these cabinets all closed up for you we'll come around to the cooktop here kind of i think this goes up like this then folds again goes into the back so there's your cooktop all set back to the back you've got that gagging off two burner or stove there nice large drawer here got these little releases in the very bottom got that again here nice large drawer here and then some more drawers here again pull all those out to give you an example that's going to be your full depth let's see if we get that in the bottom yep so that'll be consistent all the way up for the depth there let's go ahead and close these up slide them closed they all latch now they're in the travel position now we've got under the sink here a couple pull outs trash can there do we have a tilt out for the scrub daddy here uh, nope looks like that's going to be an access to get to some things there and then this large pull out again so you know for the configuration and not having much overhead space besides this one here next to the microwave and above the microwave this coach actually has a lot of storage in my personal opinion so i kind of you know the more i'm in here the more this uh, floor plan grows on me it's not very wasteful you've got that nice desk i could always edit youtube videos there and whatnot i don't know comment below if you think i should get rid of the beautiful country coach and get a four travel but nice carpet here nice full length mirrors here full length mirrors here nice vanity area here in the corner toilet room here yeah so you've got that nice elementary dometic toilet it's got that standard flipper valve no turd grinder or any of that kind of stuff you want to add a little extra water you got the sprayer for that some nice storage across the very top here oh, some mountain money coming in hot with five plus rolls of mountain money in this thing now as you'll see you've got a towel bar here off to the left toilet paper you have a nice little place to hang a jacket nice light you got that fan now uh, you'll notice this window is creeping here that will be addressed before this coach is picked up it just hasn't been done yet the uh, fine folks over there at uh, havasu glass that are on site here at a uh, terry's facility will take care of that for him great couple there they do mobile glass um, repair i'll put their web page in the bottom if you're interested in having some windows fixed down in courtside this winter or up here in the Lane County area during the summer. Real great couple, as I said, Havasu uh, Glass there. And they uh, have a really unique system for repairing those windows that I think uh, is a step above what some of the other guys are doing after seeing their process. It's really unique. 
I like that about them. They've uh, taken it kind of to the next level to be able to make these windows be a little more robust in rigidity over time. So beautiful uh, sink vanity area here. Some storage down below, got some storage over the left. As you can see, nice storage up here across the top. Nice storage here. All your light switches, your auto fill, and then your water pump located right there. Nice GFI outlet there. Got the shower in the corner here. So that's really nice. Easy access, just flip up this, swing the door open. Good height, I'm gonna say. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. I'm almost six foot. So that'd get by you, you'd have a few more inches. Might have to worry about hitting your head there, but I really like it. Nice access here. Got yourself a little uh, soap caddy up there in the corner. Got a little bar to hang your towel. So a really nice coach. Got even some more storage here. Now, as I said, you know, this is kind of a unique floor plan. So you've got the uh, closet here, which I think there's a travel lock probably on one of these doors. Nope, no travel lock. Okay, so this is gonna be one closet with a bar across the top coming in at about 24 inches. Maybe a little more cedar line side walls there. We can run this back across, close it up. I've even found some more storage, it looks like. Yeah, some more storage here in this bathroom area below these closets. So that's really nice. Got that heat exchanger for the aqua hot there. Let's make our way back to the bedroom. Get this thing wrapped up here. So, as I said, got that closet again. Oh, it looks like it doesn't open from that side. Huh? It's the travel locks. It's got good travel locks. Looks like it's got a solar panel up there on the roof. New modern Victron. It's got the on off switch for that. That's gonna be your controller there. Really good deal with that solar panel on the roof to help keep up. And then you've got these cedar line closets here again. We'll get that pocket door closed. And like I said, it's just, I gotta use two hands cause it's got good travel locks on it. I don't wanna try to wedge that together. But here we go, we got some more drawers. Those are probably gonna be consistent, same depth all the way up. Now I'm gonna take the time to open every one of those, but as you can see, you've got that nice deep one at the bottom. And then you've got four more shallow ones there. Little modern, halfway modern flat screen TV in there with a the DVD player. Some more storage in these overheads. Nice little wire chase that they've got here. It looks like it just needs this panel actually slid back up over the top of that. But that's pretty trick. The floor travel, how you just pop that off of there and you can start running wires down the lengths of the walls. Gonna have some more storage over the bed here. Gonna have some more storage here again. The storage is large on this coach. Three drawers here. Oh, looks like we found the safe located in there. And then we've got another drawer here. So you got that cool location for the safe, the way it looks like it's two drawers. And then it opens up like that. Got 110 volt over here, be able to charge your phone in the evenings. Got another 110 volted course again here. And then this is gonna be a drawer. And then another drawer since you don't have the safe. And then one last one right here. Got that cabinet that matches over there on the other side. Another cabinet there with some spare pillows so you can kind of get an idea of what you could shove up in there. Another cabinet here and another cabinet here. It looks like just needs a little new Velcro. Get that line cover stuck back up in there. Nothing but just a slight cosmetics. This line, this cover probably comes off right here to be able to run some more wires. Then you're kind of stuck when you get to that shower, but they probably got some good creative thing going on there. But this is a beautiful coach, you know, uh, 1999 40 foot for travel asking price eighty nine thousand dollars it's got that cummins 450 horse in it that 10k power tech generator in it this coach let's turn the key on here looks like we've got just under a hundred and thirty two thousand miles on this coach so nice little deal there um beautiful coach uh, I hope everybody enjoyed this tour. I gave you this beautiful Ford Travel U320. I don't get to do a lot of Ford Travels, but I like their coaches. Still in business, pumping those out. Great technical support and whatnot still going on for you. 
thankfully for us country coaches, we have guys like me and some of the old tribal knowledge going on. So, all right, everyone, take the time to hit that subscribe if you haven't. I really do appreciate that everyone that's subscribing, help me get that subscriber count up. Hit those like buttons, comment below what you think. And uh, if you're interested in this coach, hit up Terry at Kenai Coach Sales here in Junction City, Oregon. He'll get you any questions you may have answered about it. Great knowledge there cool guy so thanks again everybody until next time